Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Good day. So today I am going to be opening this gift that my sister got me just for my birthday recently. Say hi, Papa. Oh yeah, that's a good gift. I like it. It's really, really soft. Man, that's a gift for me too, I know. Black, gratitude, loving, kindness. I like Joy, it. Glory, hope, peace, pray. I like it. Nice. And it's really soft. Look. Oh, there you go. You can wear it. It's funny. <laughs> I like it. It's nice. Thank you, Myra. I love it. So now we're going to make a So I'm going to be following this recipe that my friend from Instagram that she shared. And she said that she's been making this recipe for lots of years. So I was really curious to see how, um, how it tastes. I like fruit tarts. So my husband and I used to buy them at La Madeline a lot. And they were so good. So I wanted to try this out, this recipe out. I've never, I've never made fruit tarts. I've only made cakes, other desserts, but I've never made a fruit tart. So I can actually share with you guys if you guys would like to know it. If it looks good, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so let's see what we need. In here, I have half a cup of sugar and one cup of flour that I've already mixed. So let me get a fork. Can you mix it, baby? Yeah. Help me mix it. Thank you, baby. Oh, you're too close to the edge here. Here, I got you, baby. There you go, baby. Okay, just mix it, baby, okay? Okay, let's see. Okay, so then we're gonna cut in the butter. And how much butter do we need? A third cup of butter. Okay, so for pie crust, I know that to, uh, normally you want your butter to be soft because you're going to be putting it in here and you're going to try to mix it until it turns into like little crumbs. And so I let this sit out for a little while and it's ready. It's done. It's done, baby? Okay, thank you. So our son, he loves helping us cook or bake. He likes making cupcakes or cake. He likes to help out with that. Right, Lucas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oops. Wait, that's not the one. That's the wrong one. Let's see if this fits. Okay. Are you ready? Alright, be so loud. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a little loud. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna put it in here, we're gonna mix it. Okay, hey, so if you see this. It looks, it's like crumbs now. Okay. So let's see what's the next step. Place half a cup and half cup almonds in a blender container. Cover, process until brown. Okay, so now we need to chop up, we need to chop up the almonds. Okay, um. almonds. And it says we need half a cup of almonds. It's, the recipe called for slivered, slivered almonds. We need one cup. <laughs> Try it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like it? Okay, it's okay. <laughs> this is so yucky. Okay. I'm just gonna use our magic bullet to chop up the. Are you sleepy? Are you getting sleepy? Huh? Okay, it's done. It's done. Okay. So Add to flour mixture. Okay, so we're gonna put it in here. Oi! Uh oh, that's our washer. Okay, Lucas, can you pour it in here? Those are the almonds. Okay, so now what we're gonna need to do is we need to add some water. Okay. Okay. Add flour and add water. We're gonna need two tablespoons of cold water. Um, I don't know if I have cold water. Let me see. Okay, go get your drink. <laughs> okay, so I am mixing it now by hand. 
and it's turning into you want to mix it until you got it into like a ball like a dough i have actually never made any handmade dough before i always usually just buy the pie crust but since um i am making this for my husband i wanted to go the extra mile and do it special for him okay so i think it's ready so now the directions is for us to go ahead and place this into the bottom and the sides of a nine inch tart pan and then bake it for 12 to 15 minutes or until golden brown and then cool it okay so um this is a problem because i actually don't have a tart pan or a pie pan but i do have this and i'm really hoping that this will still work because I didn't want to go to, I didn't know that I didn't have one and well maybe I did I don't remember but I didn't really want to go to the store just to buy one of those because like I don't know I just haven't but I'm just gonna do it on this and I'm gonna hope that it turns out good what kind of tart or pie is y'all's favorite pie um I feel like my favorite pie would be pumpkin maybe pumpkin <laughs> Or, no, I used to like pecan, but pecan kind of is just a lot of sugar. I've made pecan pie before and it's just a bunch of sugar. So, you want to help me? Yeah, all you have to do is, we're going to try to do it in the sides. My favorite part of the pie is actually the crust. Hopefully it turns out well. Thank you to my friend Cheryl from Instagram, Cheryl Designs, for sharing this recipe. All right, so I have it like this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bake it at... I think it was 375 for like 12 15 minutes so now i'm gonna make the filling which is an eight ounce of cream cheese and then one egg and then half a cup of sugar and now let's mix it, yeah, mix it. this is how you're filling is gonna look it looks kind of like cream cheese frosting i love cream cheese frosting i actually um i like making it because it's so simple it's just cream cheese and powdered sugar i am done with the filling and with the pie crust so i'm gonna cut some fruit for the top of it i have these peaches that we had in a Okay, so my pie is ready. It smells really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the mix in. So my son, he fell asleep. He must have been tired because yesterday we went to a birthday party and he went in the water and, a, and so today he woke up with like a cough and um, and like like mocos you know mocos mucus <laughs> so we just stayed home today we didn't we weren't able to go to church today unfortunately i don't i don't like missing church i love going to church every sunday when we can okay so I was thinking of making it look all pretty, but I think I'm just gonna just put all the fruit on top. So this is how it looks. It looks so delicious. So now I'm gonna bake it for 25 to 30 minutes and then I'm gonna let it cool in the refrigerator. It is finally done and it looks good. I hope that it is. I'm just gonna let it cool. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge to chill for about an hour. Let me show you guys how it looks. Close up. Mmm. That looks yummy. So I can't wait for my husband to try this and tell me what he thinks. Hopefully it's good as it looks. Thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel. We hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye.